Hey everyone, Sir Jellybean here, and we're back with more Cold Arms Gates for Osfront tutorials. And this time we're talking air strikes. So I'm just here on my finished conquest, and obviously I've got the air strikes unlocked. I just want to go through how much they cost, what they kind of use for, and then I will go into some battles and actually show how the air strike works and the effectiveness of it. So the air strike, first of all, on the research tree, it's similar to every faction. It's under where the command tree is. So for here, it's under the command squad. It's the same for the Germans and the Russians. And normally, once you've got to the command squad, it's only one research point more. So it's normally one for the officer, three for the command squad. I think it's the three for the command team, five for the command squad, and then one for the airstrike. So it does take quite a lot of research points. Now, when you get it, it always t it doesn't matter how much. Um, it's out of fifty, so you can bring, I believe, uh, about four airstrikes and get in in one match on standard unmodded conquest. It costs, as you can see, ten support points, and to rearm them is only five now. That's the key thing, it's rearming. If they get shot down and destroyed, you have to buy a brand new airstrike. Whereas if they're only damaged, you can rearm them far cheaper. Now, they're quite effective, and we'll show in battle as well. Now, you might think, why is it even worth bringing the airstrikes? It is a yes, because those support points can't be used for anything else. So if you're on the campaign map and you're doing a mission, let's say you click on one, and you confirm it, and you get 20 support points, if you don't make it, take advantage of them, it's just wasted. And sometimes, not always, if you watch some of my conquests, you'll see, like, if you watch Operation Day 27, I've got an IS-2 attacking me, and without the dual airstrikes that I call, it probably would have wiped out most of my forces. So, it is very effective. So now, I'll just jump into some combat, and you'll see me use an airstrike, and we'll see the power of them, and how effective they are. So here we are in the combat, it's just a defensive mission, but we're just here to show off the airstrikes. Now, we do have some allied forces here, some infantry, but we're just going to show the power of an airstrike against a building, so... How you call them in if no one's ever used them before. You'll have this side slot on the screen. And as you can see, it doesn't have a number. It just has that weird circle. And it'll normally be the mark of whatever your faction is. So the war match, the Germans have the war match flag. And the Soviets have the Red Army symbol. So we call the airstrike. And as you see, the airstrike will always come in from whichever side your reinforcements come. So in this case, the west. And as it's coming in, it is called to anti-aircraft fire. So like here, we're coming to attack this house. The enemy had anti-aircraft guns. So you've got to think about it. Because if it gets shot down, it's going to cost a lot more to buy another one than it will resupply. And they're very powerful. They normally drop, I believe, 500 pound bombs. Now, it's normally one single weapon bomb. And these things can take out any tank in the game, any bunker, anything. And as you can see, out here. Watch. And as you can see, it's completely wrecked that building. And if you look at the sheer amount of damage, that is one building gone. The fence has been blown out. If that's anything, and it can even, if a tank's on the edge, you can even, like, decrew a tank. Or take out enemy armor, you know, for a thing. I'm just going to drop another one to show the strength against other things. So imagine this building, you've got enemy infantry in it, the holding. These things are used, you know, they are quite hard to get in standard conquest. You don't get that many support points, you don't get that many airstrikes. But if you've got a really hard target, or if something's attacking you, and you're off caught off guard, it can save you from losing some of your more specialist tanks. Especially like with Finland, where you've stolen a lot of vehicles, you might need to save a tank because you don't have access to it in your research tree. See the damage here on this building. And as you can see, completely smashed through it. Now that building is still standing. I don't think you can fully destroy these, but anything in that would be dead. Anything around it would be dead. It's devastating. So yeah, airstrikes, very useful, very effective. And also they do have machine gun cannons on the front, so sometimes they will come in and also spray the machine guns at the enemies. So very useful. And remember, try to keep them alive, because if you do, obviously it's a lot cheaper to resupply them. It is to completely rebuy them. And they can become quite useful in the strategy. And if you have enough supply points, you can even use them to completely demolish enemy positions. So, yeah, I'm a very big fan of them. Anyway, I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you have, so like, subscribe, and leave a comment. And if you didn't, tell me why. I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, everyone. And have a fantastic weekend.